Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines, and just a word of warning, I still have a cold. It's now moved on, my colds always go through the same phases. We, we go through the snotty phase, where it just literally just comes out of every single orifice on my face, which um, I'm sure you all really wanted to hear about. Um, but then once, you, once you've gone through all, all the excessive mucus, um, then I go into the, the, the cough stage. So now I have to stop frequently and swig from my bottle of cough medicine in order to try to stop myself from coughing and spluttering continuously. And it also gives me a bit of a sore throat. So um, I do, I'm do. i trying to keep my episodes a little bit shorter this week so that I can keep plowing on through and you don't miss out on any valuable episodes. So we will be cutting this one um, a little bit shorter than I would usually. And we'll see. I mean, it, we may end up just sort of uh, keeping them a around. We we we'll see. I, I, I have no idea. But anyway, what we did last time was we established our new industrial area up here. We have a bit of a shortage of employees, and it looks like we could do with a bit of commercial zoning. Now, I've got a whole load more land over this side that I got ready for more houses. So I'm going to actually, as a first task today, I'm going for new zoning here, and I'm actually going to fill in this as um, housing, and I'm going to do housing on all of these, like that. I'm not doing housing on the outside yet, because I may do... Well, I suppose actually, yes, I will. I'll, I'll do housing on the outside, and I'll do that over here as well. And then this one, and this one. I'm not sure why I've got extra over this side. I think I... Um... Oh, I know what I did. I've... Um... I've removed some of that. I did have this, this tree-lined avenue all the way around. So I, that's one that I actually want to change a minute. I want to go to here, that one there. And I want to go to you. I want to go to upgrade, and we want to change to this one. And I want to change that all the way around here. Back to what it was. There. So that I've got trees up through the middle. Which means that then I can go back over it with this one, and we'll fill this in. Like that. There. And that one, and that one, and there. Right, so that's that's all of that filled in again. And there's nothing over here that needs to fill. I could fill that little bit in. Right, so we've filled all of those in. We've now got loads more housing that is able to start being built. They're already starting to build it. We're just going along at normal speed at the moment. So water is covering all of that just fine. And power. We've got power going all the way around. So, I kind of figure that the next thing that we're going to want is... I mean, we, we've gone through... Fire is looking pretty good. We've got a bit of a fire hazard here. The main issue is we got no... We, the fire situation up here is, is pretty grim. Um, we could we could do with another fire station. We, we can't afford the big fire station, but I could put one of these right in the middle of the industrial zone, which I'm, I figure would actually help. So, I'm going to put one of them in there. And it, hopefully it just lower the the pressure just a little bit for the fire service. Uh, there's another thing that I wanted to do as well. And these tree-lined avenues, uh, we got these small roads going up here to the industrial zone. And I wanted to move, I wanted to change that slightly so that we got a bigger road coming in here. But it, well, it's, it's this road down here. Um, now we've got. Six lane high. We got massive highways here that can come in, but I, I don't know what sort of lane. I don't know what sort of highway this is. Uh, we, we've got that. Hang on. What's this? Large roundabout. I could put a large roundabout in here, but it's only any good if I could like put it back here. And see here, this this is like filling up all the spaces, so I can't really do a lot with that one. Um, I got a small roundabout there that m I should do. I maybe be able to put that one in there. See. Again, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really certain about this. So this one is one way, and then we've got the that one there. Um, this one already cost. No, see. and uh, But what this is, I think, is, is just two lots of um, one-way street coming in. It's not actually like a full-on highway, which... Three-way intersection. Ah, now that one there, that that would work quite nicely. If if I was to if I was to bring that one in there, how do, how do I rotate this round? Um, no, R doesn't rotate it round. I'd I'd want to rotate that one round anyway. I I wouldn't want that one up there. But anyway, uh, that that's that's no good to us. We'll want uh, kind of want a roundabout really. 
And I'd say, I'd say that. that. That might actually keep things moving a little bit more smoothly. Um, space already occupied and out of city limits. And then if I go... We could go there. We're not going to really damage. We're not really, like, eating into very much of the city right there. Maybe I could. So what's the, the clover leaf in... Wow. That's a little... <laughs> a little bit excessive. But if I was to put this one... We could always change it later on and have something a little bit bigger. I think that could work. Right, and this means then I can put another road going up through here into the industrial zone that is going to the outside of town. Because the industrial area is going to be the first bit that is going to be wanting to go out of town. Um, we're going to put some bus routes in here fairly soon that are going to connect in with the... Uh, let's do the bus routes first. Let's do the bus routes a minute. We go in here, like this, and we've got bus routes over here. So I want to take uh, you, and I'm going to start by putting a line here. We're going to, um, more modern and farming. Right, yeah, that's, that's just great. You, you, you stop being so rude. Um, so we've got one there, and it's going to add a stop in there. And then it's going to put a stop up there, and then there's going to be a stop here somewhere on it should just be I should just be able to put there add a stop right there and then I can put a stop on that side and I can put one there and then I can bring it back we're gonna go well I'll tell you what if, if we're coming back we may as well just sort of add in a couple of stops on the way over this way so we will come down here and then I'll go one in there, and, uh, well, no, I might as well just go there, complete the line. Okay, so now I've got that line that goes all the way round up into here, where we've we've got some area. And then I want another one as well, which is going to do something similar. I'm going to put a bus stop there to start with, and there, create new line. Right. That's the first one. So that one there is going to come down this way. Like that. It's going to go there. And it's going to come over this side. It's going to put a stop into there. And to that side. And then we're going to go all the way through this way. So we'll put a stop. Actually, we'll, we'll, put, a st we'll put... Oh, I've got a stop in the middle of town. We'll put one there. And we'll put a stop into the middle of town here. And another one there in the agricultural zone. And then I'm going to put one here. And one up there. And then I'm going to put another one over there. And we kind of want to add a stop up there as well. And then where do I want to come back? I want to come back to that point. So we've got... It's a very... They are long bus routes. Admittedly, they're very long bus routes. And I'm not sure... If having such long bus routes is a good thing, whether this is a this is a positive or not, um, I complete the line there. So if I add one in there, and then I go there and complete the line, right? So I've now got a couple of bus routes that do go up into the industrial zone up here, which I figure would probably help. They're, they are very long routes. I don't know if I want to do a short route somewhere, just a, like a, a simple loop this way. If I if I go here like this, and then Let's take a stop there and add a stop. Oh, it's, it needs to go on that side, really, doesn't it? Um, and then one over there. And then we can come... I don't want to put it on there. I want to bring it on the inside like this. Uh, so we'll stick one onto there and then we'll go there and we complete that line as well. Okay, so we've got a whole load of bus stops. That's that next bit. So this here is just a Dale residence, which means if we go to the roads... Uh, the small roundabout, that one right there. I can't go any further up because it's out of the city limits. But I could go sort of here somewhere. We're, we're looking at this area right here would be where I'd want to put it. So I'm going to need to let's get the old bulldozer going. I want to get rid of that one and that one and that one and that one. And I'm also going to have to get rid of these roads a minute. And you. Outside connection is needed. Yep, I'm aware of that. Right. Then I can go to the small roundabout. Now where? 
I can put it in there. See, why is it is is not rotated in the right direction? I don't get how you're supposed to rotate them round. Because if I do that, it's not rotating round where it's supposed to be. Let me remove a bit more with the bulldozer there, and we go to this one. Yeah, you can go on to that. What? Yeah, see, I, d I don't get why this roundabout isn't sort of doing what it's supposed to do. I, I, ah, there. It did it. Right. I'm going to put you onto that point there. Hang on a minute. I'm going to need to cut back a little bit more here, I think. I'm, I'm sort of guessing at this at the moment. See, I can put that one in there. I'd like to get it to snap on to... So see, space already occupied. Slope, slope too steep. Uh, just that one little bit there, but that's saying space occupied. So if I go down to here a minute, I can't actually bulldoze any of that away. So I'm going to have to go to, like, this point here. I could put that there, and then, I guess, join it back in again later on. So what? why won't it, like... You can sort of put it here, but it, then it just goes with space occupied. And it doesn't have an upgrade option. So I guess if I, like, drop this one in here, there, now I've got this bit. It, it, it I don't know, it, it seems wrong. So we'll keep this on paused a minute, and we're going to go back to these roads. So I've got that double road coming in here, and that's not upgrade. I want that one. So it goes from there, and it goes, yeah, see, it goes onto there. That That's, that's the wrong bit. And looking at this roundabout, it's all in the wrong place. And I'm not sure how I go about rotating an item. Two-lane street, two-lane one-way road, Belmont Street. Uh, that bit there. Right. Road selected, uh, junctions. Toggle traffic light. Oh. Oh, so you've got a lot of control over traffic routes and stuff like that, which uh, that is a good thing. But no, I... Refund. Oh, hang on a minute. So if I get rid of those, now I need to... Right, I'm, I'm actually getting rid of all of that a minute. Um, There. I don't want traffic routes. Why is it still on traffic routes? There, right. And then I can go back to here and I'll get I'll get rid of those. We're going to have to rebuild that roundabout. So I kind of got an idea of what we're going to do with the roundabout. We're going to put that one in here. And I can't put it on to there. It, it won't let me. It, it'll let me put it up to that point. But it, it won't let me rotate it round. There. If, if I put it into there, it does let me rotate it. So if I go here... It doesn't let the it doesn't let the rotation occur, and I'm not quite sure why it's just not letting that happen. If I go out here like this, look, and I bring that one to there, it then says that it won't work. It doesn't like it. it doesn't like it at all. So now we go here and we go back to that roundabout and look. See, I got, I got that there. I I could put the roundabout right there. But how do I get rid of those extra bits of roads? I don't want those extra bits of roads stuck out like that. I, th I think that maybe I need to ignore the extra bits of roads. And I just need to plonk the roundabout in. And then we deal with it afterwards. So I go like that. I drop that one down there like that. And then I take the bulldozer. And I get rid of that bit. Yes, this is what we do. We remove them all. And then we build it up afterwards. This is how we do it. So we go from there. And I go... Straight in that way, because it, it's, it's going in that way. And then this one here, I go in... Actually, it, it doesn't want to go that way. I want to go from here into that way like that. There. Uh, that's actually going into a three-lane road, isn't it? So, have I got a way that I can move into a three-lane road? I don't. I can sort of do that. That is... Oh, a highway ramp. If I... What happens if I put in a highway ramp? If I remove that and I go for highway ramp here, what happens there? If I put that one in, is that any good? Is that a highway ramp? I mean, that's that's only what I... No, I don't think we want that. I think we want to um, get rid of that one a minute. And then I go to the upgrade and I want to upgrade it to the single street there. So if I upgrade that one there, we got it like that. And then this one over here, I've got this two-way road here like this. That one 
Uh, I don't want to upgrade. I want to go to there, and I want to take it off at the end of there, and I want to go straight into here so that I got that on the roundabout there. Right. So that comes in. I don't know if this roundabout idea is even going to work. It might. I'm hoping it does. I'm I'm really hope I'm really really hoping this works. So this one here, I can't actually put that in there because the space is already occupied. So what we're going to need to do is I'm going to need to remove. Actually, I can't. No, I tell you what. I tell you what. Uh, let me go to upgrade, and I can't upgrade that because that one is already in the way. Right. Well, if I can't do that, how are we going to do this? I'm going to go to straight there, and I absolutely cannot bring that one out. So the other option is I take it from there, and I bring it straight down here. It's, it's not going to let me because of that bit, but we go for a slightly different road through here, maybe. I want to be able to have this big road like this um, out from here. So it's going to go up, and it's going to go up this way. I'm going to take a, take a main road. I mean... I could actually just take it straight off of here and we go up through this road. Let's try that. So we want to go there and I want to put that into there like that. Okay, so there's another one off the roundabout and it's going up there. So then I want to go... We're not going to do tree-lined because this is... Um, we, yeah, we don't need tree-lined in this bit here. So if I... I can't upgrade that. That's because that's a park in there, which is no good. I want to upgrade that, and I can upgrade, or oh, that's too s slope, too steep to upgrade, which means, really, I want to go and take this road straight up that way, don't I? I need to upgrade that, which I've got to remove that one. Uh, hmm. All right, we're going we're gonna to do it. We're, we're going to do that. We're, we're going to go here, and we're going to remove that part. Yes, I want to remove the structure. Yep, I know that you're all miserable now. Miserable, miserable, miserable. You're not happy about this at all, but too bad. Right, we put that one in there. Nope, I want that one there. That one's going to go like that. So we've upgraded a bit. So we, I want, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a road that goes up here into the industrial zone. And I want like a big road that comes along the top of the industrial zone and drops down into town as well. So we're going to need to upgrade this road all the way up through here. Or that, or go this one here. Um, which one are we going to upgrade? I cannot upgrade that one because the space is already occupied. I can, I can't do that one either. But this side, can I do this one? Space already occupied. I can upgrade there, and then I can come across and I can go up that way. That might be the better way to do it. Okay, so we will upgrade. Yeah, so we upgrade and here, and then we upgrade that way, and then we go and upgrade in a straight line all the way up here. So we're sort of avoiding having to rip down anything too drastic and then we go all the way through here keep upgrading these points where do i bring the final bit i need to bring a road out from here and it's got to connect up to here we can just we can just do that so we've got a big road that goes straight up through there like that and then i can go to upgrade and i can upgrade that bit up to there right so we, it has eaten into a lot of my city but i've got all of these roads that are coming out i'm going to move that one over just to try and make life a little bit easier and i suspect later on we might want a bigger road along here so i'm going to do that right the way along the top right now so that it's ready for later on all these junctions are not good i was told that we don't want to have all these junctions so i'm going to remove several of them if I remove those junctions, there's, there's a couple of them out, and I'll remove that junction as well. So I got fewer junctions on this bit here. If I remove that one as Should I remove that one? Yes, I will remove that junction as well. So that's going to be more free-flowing down through there. And then this way down here. Now, if I remove that junction, that's going to cause me problems. Um, and the same if I remove that piece of road there as well. Uh, so really, I think... The only other option would be if I built a road going on the inside here and we just have one crossroad junction here. So this one goes all the way up through and then I have a loop. So then they can come into town through the top end. You'll see what I mean in just a second. I know what I mean. Uh, so I want to bring that one over to... Let's bring it to, a, let's say, four. We want to go here. So I want to bring that one up to there and then up there like that and up there like that. Right. 
So then I can go back in here and I can remove that one and that one and that one as well. So then these go around. We got one problem and I got one bus route that is no longer connected. So how can I do it? Well, I can actually get rid... We'll, we'll have to go to the bus route in a minute. So I want to go to here. Uh, right. How are you... Drag stop to move it. Okay. Oh, uh, i got to stop up there as well. That's... Right. Well, if the stop is here, what I could do... Let me, let me leave that one there a minute. And I'll take this one here and... I need to drag the stop to move it. That's what I'm doing. There we go. Right. You're going to come... Well, really, you're you're just a loop that comes in round here, so I don't need to move you very far, do I? Uh, that's one-way road at the moment. I need to change that. Definitely need to change that. Uh, so let's... If I've got that one in there... And then this one here can go into this point. That's removing that completely. One stop there. Yes, yeah, it's going. It's making it go round in. A, I don't want it to go round in a loop. So I can just bring that stop up to that point, I guess. Do I want to do that? Let's try that. Uh. Before I go, before I do any more with that bit, let's go to here. I need it that road. I, I upgraded on the wrong road, so I need to change that to two-way traffic on there. That's already two-way traffic. The rest of it is fine. I don't have any one-way traffic elsewhere. That's good. So we can come back now to the bus stop. And I've got this one bus stop here that's not got a proper loop. So is that one there. I Why is... Drag line to add stop. I don't want... Oh, I see. Right, it's going to that point. Let's move that one back there, like that. And then this one comes over to this point here. Where's the other end of it? Ah, there. Right, okay. So I need to... I want to bring that one over there. If I drop it on that side, now it's connected back up again. Why are you angry? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't be angry. There should be no problems. I've got, I've got the, um, the bus stop there. Okay, so now I've got the road that comes in here and it goes into town, and then it goes up here, and we go, we cross here. This is a busy junction here. We know this, and it sort of, it's going to be busy all the way up through there. The only thing that I could do, I could remove a couple of these bits of road as well, and take that one out there. And remove that one. But I'd have to do the same on the other side. We'll have to match that. So then we've got fewer junctions up through here. And I can match that one as well. So we've got longer runs up through. And then this one joins into this main... Better if we joined into the main street on that side. Would that work? Uh, we'd have to get rid of both of them on that side. I don't really want to do that. Okay, we'll stop with that a minute. And let's see how they do. So we've now got a much bigger road. Right, they are starting to come out through, but I've got some issues here with various uh, zoning and land. Um, we've got housing out there. This is all industrial in here, which is fine. I'm going to keep that as industrial. And I'll put that as industrial as well. And then we want to come down this way. Now, the issue that we got down here is we've got another bus stop that we need to deal with. So let's just pause again. Yeah, so the bus stop that we've got the issue with down here is that there's a route there. Um, which means that we're actually going to want to put this road back. It goes into that roundabout. So we want to go there and I want that one. So this one here, it came in around that point there, didn't it? That's where we, ha that's where we had the road running previously. So I'm going to... Actually, I'm not going to build it there. I'm going to build this one out first. And that one's going to come out there. And that's at 180. That's going to go to that point there. And then this one's going to come up there like that. Right. Perfect. So that one comes in. I don't know why they were miserable. I have no idea. And now if I have a look. So the bus stop is now back and running. That's good. I guess they get miserable if there's... Um, 
you know, people able to move in or something. I'm, I'm not quite sure. So I will put this back. We will rezone this back in again like this and rezone that one. Um, and yeah, we'll go for housing in here on these bits, just like that. So we got some extra houses in there. The last thing that I want to do is I want to get this just ordinary two lane road and I'll bring that one in onto there. It can go up, uh, it can go up that way. So it will join in on there. If that's going to be, it won't go that way. Oh, it will go that way. We can join it in there. I can sort of join it in on that bit there. So it, it does join in. Or we can go up that way, in which case it'd be a sharp corner coming off, wouldn't it? Um, would be the best way to do, I, I think actually the best way to do this would be to take a one way street from there onto that one. And then I take a one-way street from that one back onto the roundabout that way. So it's, um, you, you've got, like, the, the directional traffic coming in and out of it. Think that would be a better way to do it. Right. Close that one. Traffic is now flowing. Look at this. we got our roundabout. Out they come. Look, they're, they're all flowing quite nicely. They're going up into this area here. That is absolutely fantastic. This works. Oh, well, he cut that one off, but anyway, yes, that does seem to work quite well. And then we've got the, the bigger, um, the roads in here. That's going to help. And then we've also got the bigger road that's coming up into the industrial zone, which I'm hoping will help things up there so that we can have, like, lorries and stuff coming in and out of the industrial zone and able to go straight out onto the highways. In theory... This should work very well. This should be very, very nice. And it should, it should everything should be all tickety-boo. And our city should flow wonderfully. So we've got, uh, oh, hang on. What about water? We've got water, yeah, we've got water down here. We've got, we've got water everywhere that I've zoned. And we've got power everywhere that I've zoned as well. That's all looking good. Right, uh, electricity production 226. And that's on 111. And 300, 254, 240, 2154 is beautiful. Fire. Now, the fire situation, we've got fire up here. Oh, no, health. Health, health, health. Uh, 51 sick, and the capacity is 300. I don't need to worry about health anymore. Uh, this one right here is a hospital. It costs 65 grand. We don't have that at the moment. We've just done a major road network improvement. Cemetery, our cemetery is good as well. We will put in a hospital at some point. I'm not quite sure when, but we will do it. Okay, so that's the health taking. Uh, garbage. How are we doing with garbage? The the garbage should actually have been helped a lot with these roads that we've now put in. That should help the whole garbage thing all the way through the town. Um, that one there, we're still waiting for the 7,500 upgrade. So, yeah, we'll get to that. Fire. Obviously, the forestry areas in here, fire is a little bit of an issue. Um... I could do with, I think, another fire station up here in the industrial zone. We, we, we've got some issues up there. We've got a big fire station down here. So they can go... They they got access straight up through here, but this is not great. I think that we want another fire station up here in order to help this out. That's 12 grand. And yes, it's not cheap, but we do want to... We, we need to keep the risk of fire reduced. And I think it's worth spending the money in the city in order to keep it reduced. We put that in and we'll see how it... Yes, look. It's now reducing the fire risk in those properties. That is good. That is a very good thing. Police. Policia. And there is no police presence really up over this side. We've only got two small police presences. Uh, we've got the big police station there that we could build. That's 60 grand. We don't have that at the moment. And... I don't think we need a police station in the industrial place, but we could do with another police station over here somewhere so that these are covered. And I'm actually thinking, I mean, if you have a look at our zoning at the moment, that's all the um, housing over here. But then we've got a load of uh, commercial, which we're going to have so much of. i tell you what, I do actually need to go through and I need to rezone all of these areas here. I just need to make sure that we've got all the zoning correct where I went through and I put the roads and I changed things around a bit. And the commercial is looking good. Just want to upgrade this commercial there. And well, I've got some commercial over this side, but not all of it. I'm going to put that as commercial. 
there, and this bit here. I'm going to de-zone so that I can turn that into commercial zoning there, and then I've got a little bit of commercial zone over this side as well. Like that, there, and then this is industrial. So I'll put industrial down there, and then I've got industrial over here like this. There we go. All, any, anything over this side is going, I'm just going straight industrial on this. Um, yeah, all of that down through there. And, you know, I may as well just do all of the industrial that we've got over there as well. Just, you know, if, just in case they can use it. And then we come over to here to residential and I will start filling in all of these patches over here. Um... Not that bit there, but I do want to fill in that bit and that bit little there. And is there any more? There is a piece there. And there is a piece there to fill that bit in. And then we've got a piece there. And a piece down in there. Oh, there's still more here. Still more bits that are filling in. That's good. Right, everything looks like it's been filled in properly now with our correct zonings. As long as we've got the correct zonings, we're going to be happy. Okay, that's good. We've got plenty that we could do with some more commercial zoning. Commercial zoning is, is a little bit poor. Um, most beautiful city. Jails capacity 40, detained criminals 30. We could do with this other police station. And I don't really like the idea of plonking it in the middle of a um, suburban area. But I'm, I'm thinking, really, we've got no choice. I'm thinking it would be the most sensible thing. But if I put it there, that's going to cover all of this area. Still a bit limited up that side. So we could just, like, plonk it down here somewhere. We could put a police station right there. It's a small police station in the middle of the community, which is going to make everybody happy. I, it, it's going to help. Okay. Education. Now then, we have eligible 600 for elementary school, capacity 900. So we should have everybody being educated. The only issue we've got, really, is that we've got three primary schools over this side... We don't have a primary school up this side, and we're going to want people going to primary school over here as well. So if I put that in, it's going to help the people up on that side. It should all be good. Right. High school. Eligible 1,100. Capacity 2,000. Now, the high schools are over here. It's well away from anybody up there, but I'm not going to change that at all at the moment. That's going to stay as it is. And then bus routes. We've got some bus routes coming through town. We had to redirect a couple of them, but overall they've stayed pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. So now we've got parks and plazas. Uh, what's this? A plaza with trees. And then plaza with picnic tables. We've got those. We've got uh, props. don't really want props. So these kinds of areas here... How big an area does it take up? That's, that's that bit. And then this one is a bigger area. That one, that's quite a small area there. So we could beautify some of the city here. Uh, where can I put this? I don't really want to put it out on the corners because the problem we put... Oh, we've already got park there. We could put a park over here. There's, there's no parks over here at all. There's no beautification. Even though they're in the middle of a forest, they're still complaining that there's no beautification. This um, just, just shows you just how intelligent these people are, doesn't it? Right, we got that one. That's a, that's a big area um put that one in i've got a botanical garden cost 15 grand it's very expensive i think we're going to try a botanical garden because the construction cost is only 15 but it's it's quite a substantial piece and it should like really help the whole surrounding area and also um it well i'm hoping it would like in increase like the, the tourist attractions to the city as well they, they, they'd think it was really good um so then we got the small playground we got that one there's a bouncy castle park uh we could put that one in we got to put that one in somewhere i guess and where are we going to put that but situate that one right there instead of those two houses the two people the people living in those houses are probably not going to be quite so pleased but everybody else seems quite pleased. i'm guessing they weren't very friendly neighbors because um Everybody seems delighted with that. They all they all seem absolutely thrilled. There we go. We're removing all of the redness on there. And it's, it's, it's coming way down now. And a small park. We want to try and put a small park in here as well somewhere. Just keep everybody... Well, we won't worry about that down that side. Let's put a small park up here somewhere. 
Uh, slope to steep. I don't want to put it in there. Um, really want to put it right in the slope too steep. I don't, I don't want it too steep. I'm going to move it there. Construction. That's as far up as I can go. I can go right there. It is going to remove a few of those houses in the middle, but there's a nice big park there for people to go to. They're going to be really pleased about that. I'm going to do a different one here. We've got a small playground. That is a much smaller building. Much smaller construction. I'm going to put that one there. Like that. So that we got more people still happy with that. There. I think that's pretty good. We, well, actually, we could do the park over here. We don't have a, we don't have like a small playground for anybody. Um, where can I plonk that one? I'd say, actually, it could go right next to the school. And it would not be out of place right next to school. So if we drop that one in there. Now, everybody is... Th look at that. Look at that. Everybody is absolutely thrilled. So we've, we've got plenty of coverage for open spaces. And we... We need some more commercial zoning. Definitely need more commercial zoning. I've got a few unemployed... Well, not unemployed. I've, I've got uh, a couple of abandoned buildings up here now. So let's go to this one. Uh, we'll get rid of that one in a minute. And I want to go there. So abandoned building there. And that one... I've got a lot of people here. We, we don't have the right employees. We've got... We're very limited on the number of employees that we've got up here. And I'm not quite sure why it's so limited. Not enough workers. Rating one over-educated worker. Six of 16. So we've got the industry, but we're struggling with the, finding the people. And then commercial zoning in here as well. Um, it doesn't unlock the high density. Until, we've got to reach the 7,500. We've got another 1,000 people to go. And then we reach the high density stuff, which it does tend to change things around a bit. That one is 210,000. I don't think we'll be getting that one anytime soon. What have we got here? That is an opera house. 135,000. Uh, I can't unlock any of these. Look at this. A tha wow. Observatory. A thousand abandoned buildings in the city. And then we can unlock it. <laughs> that is brilliant. 20,000 squares of commercial zone built. Uh, we have 2,063. Okay, we'll be getting to those much, much later in the game. I think monuments reach a population of 90 grand. Landscaping, let's not worry about that. I'm quite pleased with what we've accomplished today. In particular, our roundabout. That seems to have really helped the whole situation with the traffic. So we've now got traffic able to flow freely in and out of the city without too much trouble. Even tractors. Even tractors are able to flow freely. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. Next time, I am going to try to... We're going to try and burn up the, the last thousand in population. I'm thinking more people here. And then a commercial zone here in between separating industry and people. Um... And so we, we so we can get some more commercial going. But we it does seem like we need a lot more people in the city. It does definitely seem like we need a lot more. So we're going to have to keep building up the infrastructure in order to keep the people there. Uh, we've got a bit of a situation here with the fire. But uh, it does seem to be all right. I mean, if we look at the actual fire. Fire coverage is good. So there's going to be fires. But generally speaking, it's not going to be like the end of the world each time it happens. I think we need another fire station up there. I mean, the, the fire situation in the in industrial zone is, is quite poor. We're going to we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Okay, very close eye on it. Anyway, um, that's all we got time for. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.